So this is the textile interface swatch book. It's a collaboration between Clint Ziegler in the School of Industrial Design and myself in the College of Computing. Now what we're trying to do here is marry fashion and technology to create real wearable computing, as in clothing wearable computing. We're trying to make interfaces where you can just reach over and feel them and interact with them. And we're trying to do that through computerized embroidery. But here's an example. This is a knife edge pleat. And so when you crush the pleat one way or the other, it can control a slider, um, say volume, or in this case, we have it controlling fast forward and reverse on uh, a music player. So let me actually show you this. So when I stroke the, uh, this pleat this way, it actually fast forwards on the music player over there. And when I stroke it the other way, it, uh, it uh, rewinds it. So you can kind of see how you might put this, say, render this on your pants pocket. So you have you know, pleats on your pants pocket. And if you want to increase the volume of your uh, MP3 player or decrease it, you just crush it one way or the other. What's neat is this also can just sense your hand hovering above the pleat. So if you have a heads-up display like mine, you can imagine that as soon as you put your hand there, it shows you what it might do if you actually touch it. This one's called the menu swatch. And just like you have, say, file, edit, and option on your Macintosh, we have the same thing here. We have three different menu options, then five different uh, sub-items on that. For example, if we look at the uh, uh, media player here, you see we have file, music, and playlist. So I'm going to select the file button, and now I can actually select open or save or quit. You know, and it's going to uh, just select that one when I release. Similarly, I think under music, I have uh, play and pause. I'm going to actually put, put play again. So we're playing the next song. And so you can, you can imagine that if this was on my arm, I can just have this stitch on my arm, and I can just select everything from my music player as I'm moving. Right? And, it, I, and I know what I'm hitting because I can feel it. And either I have a heads-up display like I have on so I can see it, or I just have an audio display. I can hear either, each option as I cycle through it. What we're trying to do is systematically go through the entire graphical user interface toolkit. So we've done menus. I've shown you a slider of the knife edge pleat. Let me show you something slightly different. We call this the rocker. Take your middle finger, and you put, in this case, on the middle button. And then I can actually go up and down um, by tap, by pivoting against my finger, and go up and down this way. So let me see here. That was uh, basically forward and reverse. Let me uh, actually do a uh, forward and up and down the playlist so it's more obvious what's going on here. So again, all I'm doing is pivoting across my middle finger and going up and down. And I know how to hit this because it's raised embroidery. I can feel where all these buttons and wells are. In the past, people have used this for uh, music on the ski board slopes. Right? While you're skiing, you have something you can actually reach over and, and manipulate. But with the military, you often have situations where you actually have to continue moving. You have a weapon on you, this sort of thing. And having something where you could actually just touch your sleeve and control your radio or uh, a short message service, an SMS, these sorts of things would be really valuable to the military. 